I am confident that you understand the immense nature of the mission you are about to embark on and the expectations that come with it. Your resolve to always execute your mandate, often in unforgiving situations and conditions to the highest standard, has earned the Kenya Defense Forces accolades in missions abroad and ensured the same back home, thereby making Kenya a beacon of peace, freedom, and hope. Under the banner of the East African Community Regional Force, you are confronted with the responsibility of demonstrating the African Union's clarion call, Africa solutions to Africa problems. You are also charged with delivering this noble mandate to the highest professional standard. This standard guarantees the protection of civilians, facilitates the achievement of sustainable peace, and creates a conducive environment for establishing democratic space underpinning regional and national prosperity. I have keenly followed your rigorous training and general preparations in the build-up to this deployment, and I am satisfied that you are up to the task. I have been taken through the motions this morning by General Nyaga, who will be the overall commander of the East Africa Regional Force, and I am confident that you are well prepared to undertake this noble, necessary uh, national duty to protect not just our region, but all its people as well. I have assured the CDF of the government's firm support to the Kenya Defense Force in the excellent work you continue to do for our country in various fields. These noble and patriotic tasks include peace support operations like the Africa Transition Mission in Somalia, the United Nations Force Intervention Brigade in the DRC, as well as the upcoming East Africa Regional Force uh, for defending our collective borders. We are committed to do our part in providing resources to equip you to shoulder this solemn responsibility of defending our country and contributing to regional and international peace and security. I take this opportunity to ex express gratitude to all the commanders and troops of the Kenyan contingent assembled here today. And I also thank everyone who has worked so well and tirelessly to make sure that the team achieved the highest level of mission readiness.